Hey guys, Joe Warlock here, back again, unboxing time, Geek Fuel, May. This is a US box, $29.90 or £24 in the UK. Not a bad price, no theme, for those who don't know, it's just a box of geeky goodness. So kind of looking forward to it, because the recent boxes have been very good, and they've been doing pins, and their pins are possibly the most unique out of any subscription box. So we're going to get into this, we're going to hope for some good stuff. Not gonna look, there's the grey paper, and the first things we have are ah, the book. Well, we're not gonna look at the book, because that'll just spoil things. We have... What is this? One night only, Demogorgon... One night only, Demogorgon... Versus... Oh, I can't even see what that says. Gelatinous Cube, 20... <laughs> okay. So it's a little thing from Dungeons and Dragons, and of course, the Demogorgon has become famous because of uh, Stranger Things. But originally, yeah, it was one of the creatures in Dungeons and Dragons. Next we have... Ooh, okay, a pencil case. Oh, I never had much of a use for these. It is actually from Marvel, so that's something. And it's a picture of the Incredible Hulk, sort of the old style. Incredible Hulk, uh, was created by Stanley and Jack Kirby back in 1962. So aging pretty well. I mean, it's a pencil case. I don't really know what the value is or if you're going to like that. It's not the strongest item. So you see, hopefully you can see a radioactive symbol on the uh, bottom of the pencil case. Hmm. I don't know. It's just a pencil case. Okay, let's hope for some better stuff as we keep going. Ooh, there's a t-shirt. Okay. Aha. Now it makes sense. No more sense. Absolutely no more sense. <laughs> I thought the little piece of paper gave a hint, but it's just something very similar. But this is a stunning looking t-shirt. The Demogorgon. Or even the Demogorgon. Not the Demogorgon. The Demogorgon of Brian Flats. There we go. Proper look at the actual Demogorgon from Dungeons and Dragons. That's a very cool t-shirt. Is it actually by Dungeons and Dragons? It is a Dungeons and Dragons official t-shirt. I love the colouring on that. That's nice. That's something I'm going to wear because I'm a big geek. T-shirts always go for about a tenner. So let's keep going and see what we have. Oh, the pin. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> I got so excited so quickly there. Epic enamels, a real enamel hero. Oh. As a kid, I loved G.I. Joe. Or in the UK, it was more Action Force, I think. Which is weird, because G.I. Joe is mainly an American thing. But yeah, so this is based on the G.I. Joe figures from the like 80s, the packaging from there. And this one is Destroid. Destro, one of the high-ups in Cobra. And you could have... On the back, you had... I can't even read it. Constrictor Commander, Destroid, and Serpent Emperor. I remember in the comics, the Serpent Emperor was always trying to take control. It was very weird. Codename Cobra. Once they made it off the island, these bots are almost unstoppable. They're nemesis of all that stands for freedom and mercy. The ruthless Cobra bots will do whatever it takes to gain the approval of the Cobra Council. I do love these, but that is a very cool pin. At first, I thought it was Colossus from the X-Men, but it is definitely Destro. That is sweet. I like that. This is something they're doing really well at. These unique pins. Very cool. Next. Ah, the game. Kaiju Panic? Who? The what? Kaiju Panic! Yes, I've never heard of this either. Jet across the globe as you respond to kaiju attacks, bizarre natural disasters, and unusual weather phenomena. Rescue every civilian and progress through a full story campaign to discover the true origin of the kaiju. Oh, the kaiju. They were the big bad creatures and the random things from Pacific Rim, weren't they? Forgot about that. So yeah, this is a game about killing Kaijo. Kaijo? Kaiju. Poor Kaijo, don't kill him. But kill the Kaiju. That's kind of cool. I know a lot of people aren't sure about Steam games. $10 value. That's not bad. I like Steam games. Very cool for me. We have another... I quite like pop vinyl figures. But I've got this one. And it's not my favourite figure. It's pop vinyl of Family Guy. Family Guy, of course, is awesome. 
one of the few shows too, apart from maybe Futurama, to have been cancelled twice, I think, and then came back, and it's just still going, because it's ridiculously funny at times. For American Dad, though, maybe that's just me. Let me know in the comments. But yes, this is Ray Gun Stewie. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I just don't think the Family Guy pops look good. You can get a look at the back, and you can see Peter Stewie, Stewie Ray Gun, and Brian. They look weird. Mm. We'll get him out. We'll stick him on the spinny disc of joy and check out what he looks like. So here we go with Ray Gun Stewie Pop Final Animation number 34. It does look kind of cool. It's the coolest one out of the entire set. But I just don't think the set looks that awesome. But maybe this is just me. I think they could bring out some more of these and make them look a whole lot better. Stewie Griffin, of course, from Family Guy, created by Seth MacFarlane, who voices Stewie Griffin and Brian and Peter and so many other characters it's ridiculous the guy has far too much talent kind of looks cool in the box it's just i don't know some animation works with pop vinyl some really doesn't and when you look on the back you can see peter who just looks disturbing real disturbing and brian who looks equally as disturbing the small stewie not so bad you know what let's get him out of the box check out what he looks like so here is stewie griffin out of the box, you can see his little ray gun blaster there. It's well painted, it's an okay design, I just don't think it works as a pop vinyl. His visor's is cool, and it's, I mean, you can tell it's Stewie. I just don't think there's anything that particularly stands out about this. But if you're mad on Family Guy and a pop vinyl figure, you're probably going to like it. It's decent enough, it does the job. It is incredibly small for a pop vinyl figure. I mean, his head's the same size as a usual pop vinyl figure. But his body is absolutely tiny. Not my favourite, but still a nice addition to have. So yeah, I'm not totally convinced by that. I mean, it's a pop. That's not bad. I just don't like that figure. It's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let me know. And finally, just Dungeons and Dragons. And then on the back, all the different things you could have got. So there's Spider-Man... What is that? Spider-Man, Ghost Rider, Random Marvel, Iron Man, and the Hulk. So there's a lot of different pencil cases. Two different Stewie vinyls, and I just happened to get the one that I've already got. And then the Epic Enamels. Oh, so the Serpent Enamel, wherever he is, up here somewhere. There's only one in 500, so he was a rare. That's kind of cool. The only other thing was the magazine. So let's take a quick look at that. So the Geek Fuel magazine. Guardians Gone Wild. Let's check it out. Missing person, Rupert. <laughs> of course, Rupert being Stewie's little bear. Injustice 2. That's an interesting version of Harley Quinn. Almost bombshells like. So, what else we got? Guns of the Galaxy Volume 2. If you haven't seen it, I thought this film was absolutely brilliant. Different to what I expected, but very, very cool. Terribly odd, miserable art for miserable people. What? I don't know what that is. TerriblyOdd.com. I'm going to check it out, though, because that looks kind of cool. The Demogorgon. Yes, Stranger Things. You'll recognise that piece. But that's cool. It's like a history of the Demogorgon. Might have a read of that. Gamer Corner. Yeah, it's just about games. The only games I care about at the minute are Destiny 2's coming out, and they've just announced that uh, Life is Strange, the second season, is going to be released. So that's me all kind of crazily excited. Kaiju Panic. And then all the random items. Gotham Golf Cart. Only $28,500. Well, we all need one of those in our lives. And then all the other advertisements of stuff you can buy. Never tells you where you can buy it from. Need it now in my life. Please buy me that. Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Super Deformed Plush. I love Rocco's Life. That was my thing as a kid. Rocco's Modern Life. Brilliant. That and Stimpy. And then all of you beautiful people. All over the pages. Showing off. You bitches. <laughs> Very cool. And there's Star-Lord. Yeah, not bad. Okay, let's recap everything we got in that box. We got the standard Geek Fuel magazine. It's a magazine. What more can you say? We got the Family Guy pop figure of Stewie Raygun Stewie. It's not my favourite pop. It's okay. It's probably the best at the Family Guy in line. But it's just, I don't know. I don't think it's that great. Just my thoughts. But it's a pop, so it's got some value to it. Kaiju Panic Game. I'm going to give that a whirl. See what it's like. Some people will like it. Some people don't like the idea of games. But if you don't like the idea of games, why are you getting the Geek Fuel box? Because it's always a game. Random piece of paper about the Demogorgon versus a gelatinous cube. 
no idea. Someone let me know what that's about. No clue. The pencil case. I pencil case. It's not my favorite thing in the world. It's usable. It's pencil case. I don't know. I don't think that's a great item, but that's just me. The epic enamels. I love these things. Uh, what's that nine? Number seven. So there's been seven of these so far. I don't think I've got them all. I've got six of them. Which is a shame. I'll have to try and get all the one. But that's very cool. I love that. That's a decent little thing they're doing with the enamels. And the t-shirt. Even if you're not a Dungeons and Dragons fan, the t-shirt is lovely. Really do like that. Very cool. And of course, Dungeons and Dragons is probably going to boost in popularity again when the next season of Stranger Things comes out, which is Halloween this year, I think. So overall, oh, the game could be cool. I like the pin. I like the t-shirt. The pencil case is a throwaway item, and I don't like the pot particularly, and I've already got it. So for me, not the greatest box, not the worst, and there is some stuff I do like in it. So, okay. But I want to know what you think. So, do you like Geek Fuel? Do you like the items in this box? What's good? What's bad? What could be done better? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you want to grab yourself Geek Fuel, I'll leave links and discount codes down in the description. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button because it really helps me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.